at the Hall of Justice. Hmm. Maybe we can give him like a brain hemorrhage or something. This came. Time for overkill. Overkill! It's my book! Okay, so. This is the Practitioner's Guide to Dublin, as you can see. It's something. I wrote. When did I write this? Last year? Towards the end of last year, I wrote this. It's basically a. Uh, a fictional guidebook for people who are either magical practitioners who are new to Dublin or for Dublin natives who want to get into practicing magic for the first time. It's a book about places you should go, things you should look out for, people to people to look for, people to avoid, that kind of thing. Um, I worked on this for quite a while. It's this is the first book I've published. It's the second book I've written. Uh, the first book, The Compendium Moderna, which is sort of a big urban fantasy grimoire, uh, is going to be published later this year. The Compendium Moderna is going to be much longer than this. It's, it's about, this is only about 10,000 words, whereas The Compendium Moderna is closer to 60,000. I'm really, really happy with the design. <laughs> the, um, the cover art, which is gorgeous, as you can see, is by an artist I've mentioned before, Kat Gavin. I will be linking her Facebook and Instagram in the description down there. But yes. <gasps> um, I'm just really happy with it. Look, you can see me. I'm on a book. I'm on a book. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to be printing this with a Creative Commons Attribution License. And that means anyone who wants to use characters from this, or use the ideas from this, or even if they want to quote whole paragraphs or whole pages, they can do that. And they can do that in stuff that they intend to sell. Provided that they credit me as the original author, they also have to use a Creative Commons attribution license in their work that they're using my work in. Which means other people will be able to use their work in the same way, but those people will have to do the same thing, and so on and so forth. It's like really long sharing. I'm going to do another video about that and why I'm doing that, because it's really important to me, and it's very complicated. I'll explain it later. Um, but yes, I'm so happy. I'm gonna do, again, another, another video uh, explaining where you can buy it, how you can get it. There will be a digital version. Uh, I've already looked at the Kindle version. It's on my phone. It looks pretty decent. It looks good. It. It looks like a Kindle book with a, a, a Kindle cover version of the cover. Like, what, what else is it going to be, really? <laughs> I'm just really excited because I, I have a book. I wrote a book. I wrote two books. I'm going to write another soon. Oh yeah, I'm writing another book soon. <laughs> uh, that one is, So Your Dreams Are Trying to Kill You which is a, uh, a self-help book for prophets. Because these three are all set in the same universe. Kind of. They don't really link together, but they work together and they complement each other. Um, I'm thinking vaguely of making or commissioning a tabletop RPG or a LARP system that uses these settings. It's very, it's a very kind of, I hate to use the word grim because it's been ruined, but 
And so is the word realistic. Don't fucking... I'm talking about magic here. <laughs> it's very urban fantasy. It is urban fantasy. That's what it is. It's urban fantasy. It's a very... It's a very shadowy. There's a lot of positivity to it, but it's also very shadowy. It's a very shadowy setting. And I think a lot of people are going to be into it. And yeah, if if any of you like read it and feel like doing it yourself, or modding an existing system for it, go ahead. If you want to sell it, acknowledge me as the original creator. Um, put on a Creative Commons attribution license on whatever you're doing. And you can go ahead and sell it. Show it to me, I'd like to see it. But yeah, legally you're grand, as long as you put on the same license and and uh and credit me you're grand yes cool happy